What is up, my fellow Net Dwellers? Couch Command here, the teddy bear that teaches you how to mod. Today we're looking at seven days to die obtained via Game Pass. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So for the demo of the mod, this time I decided to go with Harry's Incendiary Ammo mod. Why? Honestly, I have no reason. So as far as mining seven days go, you're going to go ahead and open up the manage menu, go to files, browse the location. We're going to go into the seven days to die inside of the content folder, and we're going to add a new folder. This new folder is going to need to be named mods. That's capital M, lowercase o, d, s. Make sure the case syntax is right, people. Now that we got mods created, let's go ahead and go to my downloads where I have that Harry's Incendiary mod. We're going to open up the zip file and go ahead and grab the Incendiary Ammo mod. Oop. And we're just going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to open our mods folder, paste it in here. That's all there is to modding seven days on Games Past. Nice, short, easy, simple to do. Let's go ahead and show that it worked. Make sure you launch without easy anti-cheat. Easy anti-cheat equals ban, or at least issues. So disable that. You have the pop-up come up whenever you hit play. And you have the ability to set not to use easy anti-cheat by default. As far as showing this off, let's go ahead and load up a new game. And I've already used a bunch of different names because this shares the same location as my other game, so it has all of the same locations as my Steam game. So, new game, we're just going to call this one GP for Game Pass. And let's go enable Creative Mode, which is not there. There? No, there, no. I must have missed it. Uh, there. Nope. And advanced. And, ah, got it. All right, let's go ahead and start this up. And loading. By the way, anytime you generate a new map with seven days, depending on the map size, the load is a pain in the butt. I'm sorry. Not much you can do about it unless you want to go with a ridiculously small map or, you know, generate a file beforehand that way you can just have the map already created and loaded and ready to go anyway now that we're actually in the game yes there we go now that we're actually in the game let's go ahead and utilize cheater mode here to actually get the incendiary ammo that's why i did cheater i don't really want to bother finding the drops instead i'm going to go here search incendiary I am nope. There we go. And there's the incendiary mod. Gives us a chance to burn zombies, convert your ammo into incendiary ammo. Let's go ahead and snag some guns. By the way, if you keep on typing, every time you type a letter, it changes the chance of what the gun's gonna be. So if you want to get a six gun, just you know, go forward a couple characters, delete a couple characters. Eventually you'll get to where you want to be. And I'm probably going to be using the MP5, but let's go ahead and get some ammo real quick. Now we've got enough ammo for everything. Let's go ahead and drop the mod on the MP5 and go find some zombies. By the way, the first time I started this up, I actually started up with zombie spawns turned off. And it took me like 10 to 15 minutes to finally figure out why on earth I couldn't find a stupid zombie in this game. Anyways, let's go ahead and just skip forward to where we actually find these things and see if we can't light some on fire and the answer to that was no no i can't light any of these on fire i shoot so many of these things light them up not a single one actually sparked up number four there's number five six seven eight nine and not a single one of those sparked up but the mod is still installed. You saw the mod that I was able to actually add to my gun via creative. So even if we didn't light the zombie on fire, this game is still successfully modded. This was Couch Man. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.